So, so somebody give me some deets. This was actually made by the Mortal Kombat devs? Was this actually made by technically Netherrealm? I think it is, right? The third dimension. Danger. Loading? Bitch ass game had to load a fatality. Yeah, he brought in a very tiny nuke. I gotta rate that shit? Okay, it was a fucking, it was like a five. It was a loading nuke, okay? I'm rating the fatals for war gods? I'm really doing this? Jesus. Uh, holy shit, Kabuki Joe? That's a character. Hey, it is spacing dependent. Kabuki Joe wins. Fatality. Did they forget the rest? Wait, did they did they forget? Was there supposed to be more? They must have forgotten the rest. They must have. That was a one out of ten. I'm not even sure if he's dead. It could have been a, like a colon cleansing. It might have been right. beneficial. Matt, it's not looking good for you right now. Uh, what is Psy 5? What if just the fucking Terminator? Is this supposed to be a fucking pun? Psy 5? Like sci fi? Oh my god, it is. Load this shit. The longer the loading, the better it's gonna be, right? Oh, this dude's just a Borg? Ew! This chick literally turned into a liquid form of herself. Six out of ten. Not bad. Not the worst. Six out of ten. <laughs> She's probably fine. She just needs to stand up. Uh, who the fuck is Tack? Tack, you are chosen. Nice, Tack. Where's your brother, Tick? I'm gonna call this rate the lame shit. Nah, no, not this time, shithead. Loading! It has begun. What? Uh, I'd like to continue. Continue? Continue. What's being pressed? What the fuck? Huh? Oh. So the part where I was interrupted was the best. Actually the best. Um, the kicking of the head I think it's a six. I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. Yeah, it feels like Garrus. This game came out in 1997. This game came out... How many years after Virtual Fighter 2? Two? two, three years? There was a significant amount, the significant passage of time between this game and Virtual Fighter 2. Here, it has begun. Pagans better be good. Pagan. Slightly creative. It's all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it like a seven. Considering what we've seen so far, that's a seven out of 10. Uh, Vala. Okay, yes, I get it. Take us through the fucking portal already. 
Dude, it's like I can't do moves after I do that move. What the hell? Yeah, I'm like locked out. Okay, here we go. It has begun. We're gonna witness this. The time has come. Damn, realistic fire. What? The hell? Wait, that's it? My heart goes to a four. That's a trashy fatality. It'll look trashy. It turned him into a marshmallow. That's a four out of 10. Yeah, we didn't have RTX on. That's what's messing all this up. The highest quality visual fidelity is not uh, capable of rendering what war gods Maximus, you are is, is possible. I don't even know what the hell I'm looking at. Is this guy just like a Greek wrestler or some shit? Uh-oh. There we go. Whew. It was sweep range. Maximus wins. Actually fairly simple, but relatively effective. That felt like a, a genuine classic like Mortal Kombat fatality. And because it didn't do anything super dumb, and was short and to the point, that's the best one in the game yet. That's an 8 out of 10. That is the best fatality in the game yet. It is an 8 out of 10. I'm happy to stand by it, too. Where do you get the pillars? From the Romans. Romans. Ahaukim. Ahaukim. Aha, I'm getting good at this shit. Ah, oh, it's the fuck slab. Oh, this guy is just Kotal Khan. Oh, I get it. He's just Kotal Khan. Not bad. I'll give it a, that one gets a seven, seven out of 10, but he's just Kotal Khan. I get, understand the inspiration now. It is true. Kotal Khan does have like a war god variation, I think, in one of his, uh, one of his iterations in either MKX or MK11. He definitely has something war godish. Okay, Voodoo with his big hands. Give her a good old one two. Ah, perfect timing, perfect distance. Ew. Oh shit. Awkwardly disgusting. Uh. To the point, as well, that was disturbing how fast it was, how it lacked any cinematic flair. Um, there wasn't a lot- there wasn't enough setup. I'm gonna have to give that one a 7, right? It would have gotten an 8, but I'm gonna have to give it a 7, because it is gross. That is some gross shit. But the other one at least had setup, right? The previous one, the guy pulled out the pillars and then chopped you in half. There was a little bit of, like, time to visually gather what the hell is going on. But they're both gross, you know? I'd imagine, yeah, there's a unique doll per character. I get that. Right? Anubis. Versus Tak Fuji. Cool. Okay, thank God. All right. Is this the final one? Anubis, you better impress me. Anubis. Wait. Are they still alive? Was he still alive in there? I'm very confused. That one's a four. Uh, four out of 10. Um, who had the best fatality of all of them? Who had actually the best fatal? In, in War Gods, who had the best fatal? I think the UFO, if not Maximus, right? UFO or Maximus was the best ones. Terminator guy or Maximus. Yeah, and the UFO was kind of funny. Hilariously bad fatals. And not even hilarious in like, that's a dumb thing kind of way. Hilarious as in they're so ancient. It's like the, the way the game looks is so ancient, so ridiculous looking that the fatalities in general aren't anything special in any way, except the one where you bring in an Independence Day ship. Rate the shitty fatals. I'm very nervous about what future this could bring.